In this game, 20-year-old Mikhail Tal gives a masterclass in energetic attack. Tal's opponent, Igor Chukaev, castled queenside, which proved to be a fatal mistake as Tal immediately started a deadly attack on the king. Tal sacrificed his bishop in order to make a phenomenal knight raid into his opponent's position. The seven consecutive knight moves had a devastating effect. Eventually, he sacrificed his queen, which led to a sudden checkmate. Chukaev started with d4 and Tal played King's Indian defense. g6, knight c3, bishop g7, e4, d6, bishop e2, castle kingside, bishop g5. White is playing the Averbach variation. c5, immediately attacking the center. d5, e6, queen d2, taking under control the important diagonal. e takes d, e takes d, and Tal played queen b6, unpinning the knight, and knight would be able to jump on e4 after second black piece takes under control this crucial square because c3 knight is also controlling uh, e4 and also from b6 the queen is exerting pressure on white's weakness on b2 knight f3 bishop f5 now two black pieces control e4 square knight h4 attacking the bishop on f5 and threatening to capture on f5 which would lead to the total demolition of black's king side however Knight e4 is possible, with tempo attacking the queen. Knight takes e4, bishop takes e4. Now black is attacking b2 and is threatening to capture on b2. And white cannot defend it. Rook b1, of course, is impossible because of the light-squared bishop. However, white should have played f3, leaving b2 unguarded, but attacking black bishop in his turn. And it turns out that the bishop doesn't have any good retreat squares. The only square is f5, but on f5, white would simply capture it and destroy the king side. That's why, most probably, in this case, black would be forced to play h6, attacking white bishop in his turn. And after bishop takes, bishop takes, queen takes, and queen takes b2, the position would be very sharp and approximately equal. Instead of this, instead of f3, white made a terrible mistake. White castled queenside. In order to defend b2. Now b2 is attacked two times and it's defended two times by the queen and the king who just castled queenside. However, on the queenside the king becomes a target of a deadly attack because both bishops are attacking the king side and the queen is attacking the king side. However, white has only one weakness on b2 and it's defended. And two bishops and a queen uh, isn't enough to start an uh, effective attack. Besides that, white is threatening to play f3, and the bishop would be trapped. It would be forced to move to f5, and it would be exchanged, and the king side would be demolished. So, how to deal with this f3 threat? And what is the new resource that lets black start a deadly attack? You can pause the video and try to find Tal's idea. So, this new resource is the knight, which is currently undeveloped. And now, Tal starts a great raid, this knight raid. And the knight would just join the attack with great effect, completely demolishing white's position. So, knight a6, the first move. f3, but Tal ignores the threat and leaves the bishop uh, under attack. Knight b4, the second move. Black is threatening to capture on a2 with checkmate. And that's why black, white ac accepted the sacrifice. F takes e. But now, knight takes a2, check. The king cannot move to c2 because it would block the queen, and b2 would be unguarded, and it would lead to checkmate in a few, few moves. That's why, after knight takes a2, check, king moves to b1. However, on b1 it stands on the same file with the queen, and it lets black play knight c3 check. And the, pin of the pawn, of course, is pinned. So, the king has three moves. King a1 is losing on the spot because of immediate checkmate on a file. If king c2, then again the queen is blocked and b2 would fall after simple knight takes e4, opening the bishop's diagonal, and uh, attacking b2 and attacking the queen and the bishop and the only way to defend uh, to save the queen and defend b2 would be queen c1 however the queen would be overloaded as it has to defend both 
the pawn on b2 and the bishop and it's impossible and black would simply capture the bishop and then checkmate in a few moves again that's why after knight c3 check king moved to c1 but now tal continues his attack of course he doesn't capture the rook he doesn't need the exchange he's a piece down he needs to attack energetically and that's exactly what he did knight takes e4 opening again the bishop's diagonal attacking b2 attacking the queen attacking the bishop and the keep the queen must keep an eye on b2 that's why the only square it can retreat is c2 however now the bishop is unguarded so the knight captured on a2 captured on e4 destroyed white's position and now returns the sacrificed piece knight takes g5 so the knight finished its mission successfully knight f3 and after finishing its mission it can be exchanged the seventh move of the great raid knight takes f3 bishop takes f3 so the pieces are exchanged however tile's pressure doesn't cease he continues his attack with the same energy although the pieces are exchanged we have the position with opposite colored bishops and in this kind of positions the attacking side has very good chances because light squared bishop cannot defend dark squares and dark squares are under great pressure but the bishop uh, f3 bishop is useless in the defense of these uh, dark squares and that means that the catastrophe on dark squares is approaching a5 so tal is threatening to just advance the pawn attack b2 one more time and open the rooks file rook d3 white is trying to hold a4 rook e1 queen b4 attacking the rook and opening the pawn's way and black is threatening to play b5 followed by b takes c with tempo and opening b file after which the rook will join the pressure on the b file and the pressure on b2 would be just intolerable rook e7 here tal had a choice he could have played b5 or what he did rook e8 getting the control over the only open file e file rook takes rook takes king b1 king hopes to hide in the corner but b5 threatening terrible uh, b takes c with tempo and opening the b file white made a final mistake in a hopeless position rook a3 the idea is to reply to b takes c as the pawn would disappear from b5 after it and the a4 pawn would be unguarded with by capturing on a4 however tal didn't capture on c4 instead he just checked on e1 it turns out that bishop d1 doesn't work because the queen again would be overloaded it must defend b2 and the bishop it's impossible rook would simply capture on d1 and then checkmate would follow that's why after rook e1 check king moved to a2 but now tal finishes the game on the spot you can pause the video and try to find the move after which chukaev resigned so tal simply captured on a3 and it turns out that both possible moves lead to immediate checkmate if b takes c then rook a1 checkmate and if king takes then the same rook a1 checkmate that's why after queen takes a3 check chukaev resigned hit the like button as it's really helpful for the channel growth and see you in next videos